Hello everybody and welcome back to some ultra modded Skyrim Nolvos. We are back again and previously we sort of started finishing up some of the different companion quest lines um, and we've now got the ability to meet um, with Kajor at night which I'm kind of curious about because I think that's going to be the point in which we get offered to turn into a werewolf. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave that for a little bit for now. Um, and we're going to go and do some exploration elsewhere and see what we can find. In fact, let's take a little look at our quests currently and see what we have going on. Um, Temper Spell Swords. Okay, we don't need to do that. Forgotten City, Hall of Forgotten. We've got a lot of Sky Shard stuff going on. <laughs> um, Forbidden Legend. Long ago, the Archmage was murdered and his three stuns were hunted down King Carol's personal battle mage. The entire incident was covered up. Their name struck from every record, but the legend survives. Perhaps someone still knows of this ancient tale. Well, that sounds interesting. Let's let's maybe take a look at that. Um, we'll uh, we'll head out this way first and see if we can figure out anything about that. We'll also just try and pick up some other quests as we go along here. But yeah, I don't want to rush down one singular storyline straight away. So we'll um, we'll come back and and work on the companion stuff as we go. But I want to see um, what this legend is. I think this is one of the quests that we picked up from reading a book. If I remember correctly, there is a few quests in this game that can only be gained um, through reading specific books. Some of them are modded, some of them aren't. I don't know which one this is. I'm unsure. What are you doing there, sir? Now, I did actually watch a video recently on um, this mod pack, going through a lot of the things in it. And one of the things they showed was a really interesting spell wheel uh, mod that allowed you to pick your spells really easily. It looks similar to this, but it's not this menu. Um, and I don't know exactly what mod that is and how to use it, but I'd very much like to if I can. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm sort of having a little look -see to see if I can see what the mod might be called, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, optimal potion hotkey. Ooh, we can actually set a specific health potion hotkey. That's pretty nice. What, uh, let me have a look-see. What buttons have I actually got set so far? Okay, so that one's already set. Okay, so I could actually set it to this one. Optimal Persian Hockey, that was called, wasn't it? I could set that to be, um, that. Nope, 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 nope. That there. There you go. Um, allow overheal. Um, allows potions to restore you to more than your maximum health. If disabled, we'll attempt to use the biggest potion that will restore you up to maximum. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that. Um, so now we've got a, a way to easily use our potions, which is quite nice. But yeah, um, I'm not exactly sure what would be the best option here to have a look at that wheel. But I'll try and figure it out as we go here. There's, there's, there's plenty of things we can do to, uh, to get over to that. Um, so I've been looking for you. Oh, hello. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh, thank you. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. A letter from the Jarl. Okay, we've got two letters here. Let's put our sword away real quick. Let's have a little look at both of those. We've got quite a lot of light letters here. So we've got an anonymous letter here. Um, investigate further. Nice. Dinner invitation. Investigate further. This is just allows us to pick up some some quests here. You've been cordially invited to dinner um, and drinks at the Blood Chill Manor. As an honoured guest, um, you are encouraged to come early and mingle with the other attendees. When you are ready to feast, ask the house waiter for a menu and he will let you into the banquet hall. The finest of most delicate dishes will be on display. There will be no need for appetizers once everyone is ready. And uh, seated, a full course of weights. Come for dinner, stay for the drinks. Interesting. Off wanderer here. Okay, we don't need to. I'm just making sure we've got everything red. Okay, letter from the um, Fal the Yarl of Falkreath. My name is Sidgear, and I have the honour to be the Yarl proud Yarl of an ancient city of Falkreath. We've been to Falkreath already. Um, the fame of your exploits across Skyrim has been brought to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me next time you're in Falkreath. Aside from the honour that occurs the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house call. I also can uh, tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath has been available to purchase should you wish to. Okay, nice. That's good as well. Letter from Krev. 
Do not trust them. The companions are not what they seem, and their corruption can cannot be ignored. They will have po they have poured foul lies in your ear. I urge you to turn back before both your honour and soul are tainted by their filth. Crev of the Silver Hand. Ooh, interesting. Another letter here. My name is Tira Bloodfire. Like Solitude, the wet um, ear before me. No, not Solitude. Sotiel. Sotiel. Me, um, before me. I'm an orphan child of Balmor. Many years ago, I took a land of misfit, a, a band of misfits and rogues, and turned them into the Crimson, um, Crimson Dirks. Did I say? I'm having trouble reading some of this. In our heyday, they called us thieves, bandits, and apostates, and killers, and they were right. We are all of those things. But so is the Jarl who taxes the poor to starvation, the soldiers who rape and pillage the towns, and the Empire who would erase our gods, and the guardsmen who would behead the innocent. I know your story. If there is going to be a judge of me, I don't want it to be them. Not the Empire, not the East Com Empire Company, not the guards. Just you and the Divines. But I want you to prove you are a worthy judge. Go to the docks in Winhelm. There you'll meet a beggar in need of your aid. Some would uh, offer him gold, other bread or wine. Offer him the alms you think he best deserves. Best serves him, even. Once you have prove, uh, proven your measure and mercy, you must show your metal. I will wait for you at the Talos Shrine west of Windhelm. When at last we meet, I ask that you speak only with your blade. For, what, uh, for while the tongue lies, the sword is true. Intriguing. We're getting a lot of quests here. A lot of quests. We got this as well. Reputation. Shooting stars leaflet. Ah, okay. That's just like a, a way of enabling shooting stars. Right, um... We've still got a few more to read, I think. Sky shards. Smithing order. Stranger's plea in the warrior's challenge. The cause. I come to you with an urgent plea. I have done unspeakable things I must come to I have come to regret, and the consequences are imminent. If you know of the oblivion crisis, then you know I make no jest when I say the fate of Tamriel is at stake. It would be safer for us to speak um, further in person. Please meet at the shrine of Stendar located between Fort Greymore and Rorikstead. I will lay bare my sins in Stendar's presence. Perhaps he will grant um, for me forgiveness. And we've also got the warrior's challenge as well. Investigate further, there you go. We've got a lot of quests now. Long ago, my ancestor, um, a great hall, built a great hall on the mountainside, um, north of Bilguch Mile, uh, Mine. They called it, I can't read any of these, a warrior's, um, home that rivaled Sovereign Guard itself. Um, at the last of my clan, I wish to bequeath this home to a true warrior and a fellow Nord. I've heard you're a worthy fighter, but I'd like you to prove it with your blade. Okay, so we can get a home out of this. So let's take a look, another little look at our quests and see what we want to do, because we've just unveiled quite a number of quests. Um, let's, let's go for this home, shall we? Let's go for this home. Um, yeah, we'll untick all of those. We'll see where we're going for this. I also need to upgrade my armor at some point. I've um I've had this armor on for a while now. I can take off the torch for now. I've had this armor on for a while and I could probably do with an upgrade. It's not exactly the um the best Necromax armor in the game. Is, foul, uncontrollable creatures. is there something I can do for you? That. I think we ought to go and take can't. a look, don't you? I'm guessing he's speaking about one of the undead things there that we uh that we just uncovered. But let's uh, let's first head out. And see exactly where this guy wants us to head to. It might be quite the distance away, so we'll uh, we'll have to see. And if so, we can always take the carriage. Um, I think it's good for us to explore the map and move around a bit. Let's have a little look on our map here. Oh, it's 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 very close. Oh wait, no, that's that's the other mission. Where are we looking here? Okay, it's up here. We've actually been very close to it. Um. So we can we can take a we can take a teleport 
pretty much near to there because we've been very, very close. That's when we were dithering around in the forest, I believe, um, near to that woman that we found. We never did find her mother, but sure one day we will. Ah, this is actually the last place we teleported from, wasn't it? It was very foggy last we were here. Pretty cool. Is this building here? By the looks of it, it is. This might be a little house we can uh, we can take up, which would be kind of nice. We've uh, we've been looking for a home, really. We we haven't got one yet. Hello. Yes. I received your I letter. Understand. Whereabouts are we going? I'm gonna follow her. Fight or die oh. well. Okay, let's um Okay, this is not what I expected. Okay, luckily she's not super high level. Oh god, she's got a, a spell sword though. I probably should have saved my game before doing this. Death awaits you. Oh damn, she hits hard. Okay, so I can do this to uh, pop a potion, right? Yes, there you go. Wait, was that not a health potion that I just popped? I thought it was. One second. One second. I think I set that up wrong. Um, What the hell was it called? I forget the name of the mod now. No. Optimal potion hotkey. Health potion? No, I did, I did set it up as health potion. Okay. You're as good as dead. Alright, try that again. Okay, no, it did heal me. It just heals me a very, very small amount. I don't have very good health potions right now. Dude, this this is tough. We're going to have to try this a few times. Oh, dude, she can hit me so easily like that. Ah, okay. We're going to have to take a good few attempts at this, but I really would like to, to best her. But, um, a pretty, pretty tricky fight. Pretty tricky fight. I mean, it would help if Lucian was here. I'm not quite sure where he's, um... I'm not quite sure where he's gotten off to. Maybe I should change my stance. Okay, that stance did not help at all. Death awaits you. Me? Okay, wow, she is uh very strong. I do also have the ability to uh cast this on occasion. Oh my god. Death awaits you. Okay, this is that attack is brutal, man. Keep her away from me. This is working really well, actually. It's used up basically all my arrows to do this, but... I cannot best you. Wait, can I talk I to it? Just... Oh! Stand up. Victory is yours. I submit. Can I talk? Okay. I can't tell if I can actually talk to her. If I put my no. weapons away... Well, she... Oh, no, okay, she does not submit. She does not submit. Okay, key to our house, I see. There you go. Sword of Scorching. Hey, Lucian. Nice of you to... Nice of you to stop by. Scaled armor with horns. Scaled helmet. Skill boots. Let's take everything from her. I'm sorry. Silver ring. Right, let's quickly check out this scaled armor and see if it is uh, light armor. It is. Nice. Okay, and is it better than ours? Yes, it's a lot better. Right, drop, drop my armor. Put that on favorite. Ooh, very nice. I like this armor a lot. 
Well then, Lucian. You were a, a right lot of help. I literally used all my arrows to do that. That was that was pretty brutal. Right, let's also check our weaponry here as well, because we gained a weapon off there. So our Assassin's Dagger does uh, 14. The Spell Sword... That's not the right one. Uh, this one. So this does a bit more damage, and it burns the target. So I think we will... Uh, we will go for that. So let me just quickly... I think it's K? Yeah, manage cues. Right hand... Um, and we can remove that. Nah, I removed the wrong thing. Okay, just remove everything for now. Exit. And then we want to re-add, so we add that back. Add to Q. Add that back. Add to Q. And then magic, we want to go and do fast heal. Add to Q. Necrotic flame. We've also got some necrotic flames here. Reduce enemy weapon damage by 10. Uh, well, that's that's pretty interesting. We could maybe uh, pull that in there as well. One thing I'm a little unsure about. It says to still take the key. I've got the key. Do I need to give you back the key and take it from you again? Maybe it's part of like, I've got to open it up and then do that. No, no, it just doesn't complete. Okay. But I've got the key now. Interesting. Let's take a little look in here then, shall we? One second. Okay, we're good to carry on. It looks like this this is our house now. Very nice. Okay, so we have a place to store some stuff now, which is rather nice. We've got some display cases as well, which I like. Nice, nice. So open up that display case and, uh... Oh, could, do we have to manually drop things into the display case? Okay, I think I'm actually going to go into per first person to do this. Um, it's floating. Ah, I see, okay, what... Well, let me pick that back up then. Have I, have I buggered this? <laughs> okay, I think I I think I have buggered this. I thought I had to manually place it in. Where's it gone? Oh god, it's gone, hasn't it? It's gone. Oh no, I got it, I got it, okay. Right, display. Must have a weapon in your hand to place it on the rack, right. No, I don't want... Display. There you go. Right. Let me just check on my uh, abilities to move through stuff. But yeah, it's kind of weird with... Um... Look at this. This is amazing. It's kind of weird at the minute with uh, our weaponry um, and our, our equipping. Because we can do this, as you can see, to have uh, our cues here. And there's cues for, like, all sorts of stuff. But I need to have keys assigned to like swap between those things and it's it's difficult to sort of manage all those at once. At the minute I've just got right hand because that's the simplest one to manage. But there's so many others there that I could be using. Enchant equipment. I don't have any enchantments at the moment. But I'd like to level up enchanting and potentially level up um, alchemy as well. So I've got an ingredient satchel here. So, for example, something you can do is... Uh, oh, great soul gem. I'll take that. Common soul gem as well. For example, what we can do here is we can go to our ingredients list and we can, like, activated beast blood. Okay, no thank you. We can, like, eat ones that we have multiple of and it'll, like, tell us what their effects do. We could just gobble down literally everything, to be honest. Apparently that, that was not pleasant for us. There's so much stuff here. Apparently first person is really messed up at the moment. Luckily we don't play first person that much. Blow dust. Bunch of cups. Glass jar. Hmm. 
There's a lot of good stuff here. Crab chitlin. Yeah, a lot of lot of useful stuff around here that I can uh, I can craft with and stuff. Look there. I wonder why this one's purple and that one was blue. Neither of them are skill books. Right. So yeah, what I can do is I can come to the table here. Use pestle and mortar. Use. I don't know what the other thing is there. And I can potentially make some stuff in here. And that will... That crafted a potion of stamina. Craft. Discovered fortified pot pick. This is the sort of stuff we need to do here. Like, I'm just going to craft a bunch of stuff. Just, 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 just try and discover stuff. Health regen's always good. Stamina. There you go. Another great soul gem there. Right, so if I if I come over to this again, mix ingredients. What, what's what's this? I don't know. Uh, that's, is that to create specific things? Anyways, nice. Okay, so we've, we've, we've managed to create some potions there. I think we've now got a few sitting in our back pocket. Oh my god, we've got more than a few. Holy hell. So this is this is why I need um, a button for swapping between my potions. In fact, one second. Okay, I've had a little bit of a look into some of the settings. I've changed a few things. Uh, but we'll sort of see how it goes. I'm pretty happy with this sword. I do actually want to test out with this sword my um, my move set. So let's start in neutral. Default is sort of heavy slashes. This one's a little bit more stylistic, but definitely slower. Ooh, that's very fast. Very up close and personal. Oh, that's that's probably the one I'm going to keep there. That's pretty good. I don't know why my shield comes off like that. It doesn't look great, but anyways, let's re-equip my torch real quick because it is a little bit dark in here. Um, take a little bit more of a look around. We also probably want to store some stuff as well, to be honest, now that this is our house. Um, let's take a little bit more of a look around and see where some of our storage might be because there'll probably be places that we can put stuff. Yeah, we've got books in here. There's quite a lot of books in here, actually. Some cooking secrets there. There's our bed. We can climb up on top of the bed. Has a... Um, we've also got... Killing before you're killed. We've got a coin purse as well, which we'll take. 29 septums, thank you. A few coin purses, actually. We've managed to take a bunch of random stuff there. Random septum. The strong box, I guess we could keep some stuff in there as well. There's a lot of places to store stuff here. It's a pretty small place, to be honest. It's not huge. Uh, but it's got some storage, so... It's also got a Nordic battle axe. Right, let's, um... Where, where should we put our clothes? Clothes go in here. Let's 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 put our, uh... Some clothes in here that we're, that we're not using. If we have any that we're not using. So, yeah, like, some backpacks here. That's, that's probably one we want to keep, but... Store that... Um, we'll store these mage robes, store these. We've got tons of these silver um, hand amulets, but I'm going to sell those on. I don't want to uh, get rid of those right now. Lucian, can you back out the way a minute? There you go. Uh, strong box, I don't know what we want to keep in our strong box. Let's have a little look, see what might what might go in there. Cause the thing is, like gemstones and stuff we want to keep so we can sell. Um, we have quite a lot of money right now, so 2,000 septums is not not a bad amount at all. I don't really think we have anything that we want to put in here right now, you know. Uh, we do want to display some of our uh, weaponry, though, so let's quickly go back. Can we display that, um, that battle axe, an ordered battle axe? Can we like, display that in here? Okay, there's already some stuff in here. Yeah, it looks like we can't display that here. I think we can display it on here, though, right? 
We can only place armor on the mannequin, okay. We're a good place we can put that. I don't really know. Anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll sort of pass the out. Oh, wait, actually, can we put it up here? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I didn't want to display that. I wanted to display this bad boy. Hey, there you go. Okay, nice. I like that. One thing I can do, actually, if I go over to magic and go back over to my fast healing here, I can make sure that that is on my left hand as well, I think. Kind of difficult to do with my setup right now. It's already on my right hand. Okay, now I think that's fine. Basically, it's a little annoying. My, my mouse button is left on my keyboard. So when I try to apply things, like this is me pressing my mouse button. It just goes through things. It's a little annoying. Anyways, nice little home here that we've got. Let's uh, leave some stuff here and we can uh, we can head on our way. Head on our way and see if we can find any other interesting stuff in the area for now, I guess. I mean, it is night time at the minute. We might... Do you know what? Let's, let's head back in real quick and... Uh, have a little kip, because I didn't realise it was so late in the day. Um, and we'll head back out again. I love Lucian with his little flower basket. That's peak Lucian, that is. We've also got some smithing and stuff we can do here, which is kind of nice. Right. Lucian, please go to your bed. This is not your bed. We will sleep for 11 hours. We don't have any levelling up to do. By the way, I have found out, I did some research into how the leveling up works. I understand it a bit more now. Um, basically, things cost more points as they get increased in levels. But you are allowed to sort of just increase anything and everything. Oh, I did not see the downstairs here. Let's quickly check this out. Ah, okay, so this is just extra sort of weaponry storage and stuff. So we can bring um, all of our dragon masks as well as any of our armor and stuff that we find down here. That's kind of nice. It's good to have a place. It's good to have a place to, to, to finally call our own. Even if it was a little easy to earn, I don't mind. It's not it's not a particularly flashy place, so I don't mind it. Whoa, it is. It is foggy out today. Very, very foggy. Is that a bear? That is indeed a bear. Probably don't want to tango with that thing. Probably don't want to tango. Okay, it has seen me. You're not coming over here, are you? Not by the looks of things, no. <laughs> the equipping animation for the shield still makes me laugh. That's not how you put a shield in your back, you goof. Right, uh, let's let's head out into the mystery. Head out over towards Rorikstead, maybe. And we could maybe, maybe make our way over to Markarth. Let's go to Rorikstead and see what's going on over there and see if there's anything of interest. I'll meet you there, my boy. Don't really know what I'm running into. Do you want to go, son? Do you want to go, son? He doesn't seem too... Pleased with my fire. Okay, that was a nice kill there. I'm getting to the point now where some of the lower level enemies were, were able to kill very, very swiftly. Oh, look at the god rays. Oh my lord. Game's impressive, man. I love it. Okay, Rorikstead is not too far down the road from here. Let's keep going. I just want to try and explore different places before we just head into uh, all the quests. I think it's nice to sort of Get a lay of the land, round up a few quests, and then kind of decide where you want to go from there. I mean, that's how we ended up here in the first place with a new home. I do want to make sure that I've got, like, a save on, on where this, this is. I probably should, like, mark it or something. Place marker. Just so I know where my house is at all times. Otherwise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose it. <laughs> Still heading the right way, good. I really like this weather at the moment, though. Dense fog in the mornings is pretty interesting. Let's let's just wait an hour and see if there uh, they go. Lucian appears. Here he is. In fact, let's let's let's, let's just chat to Lucian. See what he's saying. How can I help you? Nothing so far. We still can't train let's him yet. Moving. Ooh, look at this. 
Let's pick some ingredients while we're here. I do I do want to try and um, work on some alchemy because if we take a little look-see at our skill tree and go over to alchemy, there are some pretty interesting things in here. So obviously we can brew potions that are more uh, pertinent, but we could do some pretty interesting stuff. Um, let's see if we can find some of them. This re yeah, resistance to potion toxicity increases. Pretty nice. Um, all potions are, are weightless. Really good. Your poisons are highly corrosive. Um, ele elemental oil in addition to... Okay, so oil is pretty interesting. Is it walking disaster? Yeah. In combat, periodically spill random oil puddles on the ground. It puddles last for 60 seconds. Um, you may choose a... So let's have a look at this here. You may choose a power... At will create a pool of oil that lasts 20 seconds. It reacts violently when struck with a projectile explosion, exploding and dealing damage equivalent to your alchemy skill. Yeah, there's some pretty, some pretty cool stuff in there you can do with like oils and stuff that I want to potentially check out at some point. I think all of it's pretty cool. Oh, I hear another wolf. Is, it, is are you being bothered? Damn, this this sword does a lot of damage to wolves. It also bent it to a crisp. Yeah, these level 2 wolves don't stand a chance. Look at this guy, he's like, all his fur's been burnt, like singed. Okay, Rorik says just down the way here. Probably ought to go to Helgen at some point. I'm not exactly sure how we start the main quest line, but I imagine going to Helgen will trigger something. Here's Rorik's stairs. Good, good. We've got some interesting stone walling around the area. I like it. Hello. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? The crop seems to be thriving. It's true. For as long as I can remember, our crops have always done well. I'm not sure whether it's the soil, climate, or the favor of the divines, but we've never had a poor harvest. Very nice. Okay, what, what do you mean by I'm feeling ill? What's up with me? Oh, I've got rock joint. God damn it. All rock right. joint is there uh, from wolves. Right, one thing I want to check out actually is um, this backpack. How does it look? Does stick through our shield a little bit. I don't need it at the moment, but I'll keep it on me. Not much in there. If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. Okay, I will speak mm -hmm. to Juan if I can find them. Is that you, Juan? I'm imagining a lot of these are just random farmers. Fine. What? Can I buy of yogurt? Course. Yeah. For that price? Sure. Where's the goat? One second. Did I just fucking buy a goat? What the hell? Heads of Skyrim. Hey there, both want to come with me? Come with me. Okay. We just straight up have... Find the tamed rabbit, tamed skeever. Tamed spider. Tamed fox. We straight up got this goat now. It, it says, um, there's one of the options, wait for me at home. But... Okay, yeah, okay, nice. I just, I don't want to take him with me too many places, but we now have a goat that's going to wait for us at home. I like that. I don't want to take him with me because I, I I don't know if he can die and I would assume he could. Um, where's Juan? Need something? Looking for work, got Here, any leads? Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so now in this Pets of Skyrim quest, we can actually go and find some of these others. <laughs> find out more about Hilda. 
I like it. Nice. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy enough that we have a Gert as a pet now. That's pretty awesome. We'll be we'll be visiting um, Hilda pretty regularly. Right. I'm guessing this person's maybe up in this building here. Juan, what's it called? In the Great Hall. Hmm. There's no one in here at the moment. I mean, it is early. Let's keep going and taking a look around. Man, I love this fog. But you're the person I just spoke to, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guards don't seem interested in anything I have to say. Could check the inn. I wonder why the inn's still giving me XP. One second. Let me check on that. Experience, where are you? I set it so the things shouldn't give us experience anymore. Exploring. Cities, towns, and settlements all count. Dwemer ruins shouldn't. Dragon lairs still count. Doomstone still count. Daedric Shrine still count. Okay, I don't know why inns aren't one of the things on there, unless they just count as one of these. Either way, it's fine. Right. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a no reason. Around here I heard this place needed a bard, so here I am. Fair enough. Fair enough. Listen to me, stranger, and listen well. The Khajiit caravans are not to be trusted. I haven't bought anything from them yet, so... They have shaved their rear ends to resemble the Nord ones they are fond of licking. But Zajira, she is loyal to the Thalmor. Her rear end is not shaved. Oh lord, okay. How do you know it isn't? <laughs> I have to inspect to make sure. I'm a blight on this land that must be purged. Yeah, I agree with that. Blight? More like Thalmor. Zajira does not know what kind of skooma you are having. But she would like you to share. The saviors brought back the moons to elsewhere. The eight have crowned them the true rulers of Tamriel. Zajira tells them where to hunt the night. What issues do you have with the Khajiit caravans? They are traitors. <laughs> yes, everyone knows they're traitors. <laughs> They seem fairly neutral to me. As neutral as the dark side of Secunda, for I have witnessed first-hand the sale of weapons to none other than Stormcloaks. Stormcloaks are fighting for honor and principle. I haven't sided with either side of the uh, war yet. Now all of the Stormcloaks, though, they're weakening the Empire. I haven't, I haven't picked a side here, so... Hush! Zajira knows this, the Stranger knows this, and the Imperials know this. But the Stormcloaks do not. And there is one in this very inn. Mm, okay. But to your point, Madran does not help the Stormcloaks because the saviors ask him to. He does it for gold. What does Skooma feel like? Oh, that didn't play a voice line for some reason. He's not used Skooma for the taste. Fair enough. The mind is flooded with pleasure in that moment. Anything is possible and everyone loves you. What a drug. What a drug. When it's over, you will do anything. Scratch and claw, chase your tail, and tear your fair out to get that feeling again. Sounds like meth. <laughs> Sounds yes, dangerous. More than dangerous. Some may find such behavior sickening. But Zajira does not care what Madran says. It is not wrong to surrender to a feeling. Hmm. I know what you mean. I feel the same way about murder. Perhaps Madran cares about your health and wanting to get better. Yeah, that sounds right. Khajiit wishes it was so. But Madran cares only for the health of his pockets. That is why he betrayed Zajira and the saviors. So, is this person of foul more important? Who is Sanyon? He is a Thalmor agent and Zajira's friend. She sends him letters by courier. It has the list of names and locations of potential Talos worshippers. Sanyon then kills the infidels and makes a tableau. That is a fancy elf word for a murder party. This gets the attention of the Stormcloaks, who then redouble their efforts against the Empire. 
The saviors get stronger and the Jira gets a skooma. Everybody wins. <laughs> He's the same curry as the Nords do. Um, but it does sound like the Thalmors are encouraging the war. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get an invite to that murder party, I think. Many will die. Yeah. It is Ajira's job to find the parties and to keep the skooma. You will not take this from her. You must find your own savior to help you. I don't need skooma. Do they use the oh, same couriers? No. They cannot transport the skooma to Zajira. It is not allowed. For this, there are peddlers in Sanyon's employ. You may see them on the road from time to time. They smell of hay and skivas. Interesting. That all makes sense now. The more and Stormcloak. Does, that does sound like what you were saying. Zajira thinks your theory is crazier than a barrel full of orcs. Now she is convinced your skooma is better than Sanyon's. You must bring more. Zajira will do whatever you please. God damn, this person is quite the druggie. We'll leave you there Keep for now. Keep an eye out for Talos worshippers. Of course. Rorik, hello. If you've got hello. some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. You told me that already, good sir. I don't know who Juan is. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. I need um, the access key for your private bath. Nah, I think I'm okay, thank you. What is this mail account? Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Imperial mail account. Got a note here. Imperial mail passbook. I'm not quite sure what this is for, but there you go. I have it now. Cooking secrets that I picked up earlier as well. Where is the Xuan person that you speak of? Is this her? Ah! Oh, it's not. You frighten me, traveler. You shouldn't just greet someone unexpectedly. I thought you were someone else. I've been looking someone for quite a while now. You seem spooked rather so easily. My brother used to tell me, but I feel it's warranted. I don't care if Ulfric himself bent his knee and asked me to join the cause. I'm staying inside where it's safe and warm. You're a stormcloak. Was a stormcloak. Now I'm just an ordinary shut-in. Never going to leave this in, as long as Meraki is willing to have me. Maybe I can marry his son, and then they'll let me stay here forever. <laughs> so you like Eric? <laughs> Eric is all mine, you can't um, have him. <laughs> you're married? Meraki never told me. Maybe Meraki's looking to remarry. I won't have to leave then. Ever. Why are you so afraid of leaving? I'm What's cursed. out there that's scaring you? It's been with me since I was a young child. It's the only explanation for what happened at Helgen. Were you attacked at Helgen? No. This was before. I'd just sworn the oath. But, as one of the less talented sisters, I was tasked mostly with retrieving supplies from the city. It happened on a Morndas. I was traveling on the road west to Helgen, when pearls of snow began to pelt my brow. I no sooner blinked when the snowstorm came thundering from above, except there was a piece of black crouched further down the road, a woman wearing a hooded robe, holding a small child. Oh damn. Unfortunate but duty called, you ignore the peasant and retrieve the supplies. I'm guessing you tried to help her. Indeed. I swore an oath to Ulfric Stormcloak, my brothers and sisters, but my oath to the gods came before this menial task. When you found the road, did you try to speak to her? I called out to her. I was relieved when she stood up, but the relief was short-lived. She scurried off into the forest. It was no place for a child. The sun was dimming, and in the winter, the night is as fast as it is long. The air was cold, but not the kind of cold that pimples your skin. No, this cold was raw enough that you could feel it pass through your teeth even when your mouth was closed. Oh god damn. I know the forest, the cold is so raw, it frisks your bones. A newborn baby is alone in the forest. It's a scary proposition, indeed. As I said, no place for a child. So I hurried after her. Best I could tell, she was headed towards Orphan Rock, the one place every Nord child in Helgen fears. 
Yeah, often rock, not exactly the greatest. Um, let's let's ask about it. But I think I remember what's often rock. There's a lot of tales parents tell their children to get them to eat their greens or pray to the divines. One of them is the story of the Hagraven of Orphan Rock. They used to say if you didn't pray to the Nine, Arkay would send the old hag to kidnap you in your sleep. The witches of Orphan Rock are said to be the grown-up versions of all the children who forgot their suppertime prayers. As a young woman grown, I've long since outlived such juvenile tales, but my hand couldn't help but reach for my weapon. Yeah, I, I kind of understand that. I see, still sounds fairly mundane what happened to Orphan Rock. So, but you had to chase them. Darkness then what? set in. I bit my lip, trying to keep my focus on the woman and the child. I followed their tracks through the narrow passageway formed by the rock, but when I came out on the other side, the trail had vanished. But they vanished, or something vanished them. What then? I found myself standing in a plot of follow dirt, empty save a rock marker. I called out again to the woman, but there came no answer. Then I called out once more. And then came a reply. It was a knock, like knuckles rapping against a door. And with each knock, the noise grew louder. No, not louder, closer. I swiveled around, and in my panic I dropped my mace. It wasn't until I'd reached for it that I saw it. I'm guessing it was the Hagarism, so right? jumping off the dirt, as if the knocking wasn't coming from behind me, but beneath. Higher and higher, until it was right under my feet. And that's when the clouds shifted, and the moonlight lit the marker in front of me. It wasn't a rock marker. It was a grave marker. Oh, damn. I did what any sane Nord would have done. I ran. When I got back to the camp, the quartermaster demanded to know where I'd been and what had happened to the supplies. In truth, no explanation would suffice. It's just as well. Because even I can't explain what was under my feet that night. The undead. Whatever it was, it was scary, and I think <laughs> I need a change of clothes. He stumbled upon an oblivion gear, obviously. I oh, bet that woman was buried there, the child too. That's what I told my brothers and sisters back at the camp. They too thought it was an excuse for not retrieving the supplies. It didn't help that I was known for telling stories by the campfire. To them... This was just another tale I had cooked up like a chef makes beef stew. So what brought the curse on them? It's always been a part of me. You see, my mother told me that I nearly died in childbirth. As a result, part of my soul was close to the void, and the wandering dead were drawn to me in their confusion. Yet, she told me not to worry. As long as my heart was full of life, it would fill that empty part of my soul and ward off the dead. Her advice was unnecessary, as a child's spirit is as stout as Shore's bones. It wasn't until I was a girl of twelve, my heart broken by a boy I loved, that at first I yearned for death. Damn. This this is a very interesting person to speak to. So cruel, just like men. Always made a wide choice. And that brought the it curse did. on. It's silly to say. Because as adults, we experience things a thousand times more hurtful than a simple heartbreak. But never in my years did I feel a stronger sense of grief or a deeper wound than when he said the words, No. I wanted to die more than anything, and our case all fit to grant my wish. After your part was broken, the curse came for you, did it? Indeed. That night, as I lay in my bed, the air was so cold. And even in the middle of the sun's height, I huddled under the covers, trying to stave off the cold. I had reached a point where I felt I could sleep, when I heard it. The breathing. Mm. No matter how much I shrunk into my covers, I couldn't avoid that foul hiss. But I dared not look. Then came the sound of footsteps walking to my door. I was about to go into shock when I heard my mother's voice. I leapt out of bed and ran to the door, flinging it open. And there she was, my mother, holding a candle, and standing over her shoulder was a wraith. Oh lord, so she's dead. <laughs> Yikes, you are cursed. Drifts don't stand, they float. I mean, that's true. How did you kill the wraith? That's a good question. How did you I kill didn't. the wraith? I did what my mother always told me to do. I wanted to live, then more than any other time, as two lives were on the line. And it worked. 
until I became a storm cloak. I think all that talk of dying and going to Sovngarde brought it all back. You are going to have to lead this in eventually, no. Vernon. I'll starve to death first. I am a daughter of Skyrim. I don't fear death. I fear fear. And spiders. But everyone's afraid of crawlies. <laughs> There's a spider on your neck. I should have found that pet spider and just brought it in here. That would have been funny. Do you know what I've just realized that's really messed up? Is this a goat head? Did I just... Did I just... Adopt a pet goat while wearing a dead goat on my shoulder? Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> you know, Mir um, you know he'd never let you starve. That is true. Maybe. But it's not as if I don't work for what he gives me. I'm the unofficial tavern wench around here. What does that entail? Sweeping, washing, and giving this place the occasional woman's touch. And if a customer gets fresh, I can wield my mace better than any broom. That's fair. What could possibly happen? Oh, lots of things. Although they usually happen at night. And when I'm alone. But I can't take that chance of them happening when others are around. I'd go out and help Redleth pick out cabbage heads. Only they wouldn't be cabbage heads. They'd be the heads of little children. God then damn. maybe Ragnar will ride by, still making the journey to Whiteworn as a headless phantom. Or maybe I'd visit Rorik's Manor, and that bear he has mounted on his wall will come alive and reach down and bite him, right while he's cooking. Even here there are times I feel like my presence is a danger. Sometimes when I look up at the animals mounted above Milwaukee, I see the eyes move. As if someone were Do looking at me mean like this one behind. right here? <laughs> well, that was a really interesting Fair discussion. I will speak to you soon. There's some Daedra blood on the side of your desk. I'll take some of that. Some kind of unique Daedra blood. We still need to find this person that um, this guy mentioned. I'm not entirely sure where to look for them. Who are you? Hi there. You're another bar one. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Do you have news of our quarry? Oh, hello. This is one of the people that, that um, we saw in White Run that were looking for uh, the Red Guard woman. Who are you, little girl? That's a, that's a tree you're running into. Child, I was trying to talk I to you. I wish I could be an inventor like you and go wherever I want. I'm sorry. If you beat up my sister, Sissel, I won't help. I'm not going to beat up your sister. Best not cause any trouble on my watch. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to. Right, let's check back in here again now that it's a little later in the day. And see if we can find this this person that uh that he mentioned. No, there's still no one in here. Does this person exist? Have they been made up? Have I been lied to? It seems like that might be the case. I'll keep looking. Let's uh, do a We'll save as well here real quick. It's very nice around this area. Whose house is this? Is it you good sir? Is it you that I'm looking for? You alright? Hey like it is! Sick. Hello Joanne, how are you doing? How did a Breton like yourself come to dwell in Rorik's stairs? Have you met Rorik? He owns these lands, and it's from him that our village gets its name. We've been friends for many years now. Rorik fought for the Empire in the Great War. He was gravely wounded, and so was brought before me. I was a healer then, you see. We were as close as kinsmen, and when Rorik returned home, I came with him. I'm happy to spend my twilight years here with my good friend. That's very nice. Your farms are thriving, even despite the harsh climate. Secret. secret? What makes you think there's a secret? There are no secrets here, my curious friend. Our prosperity is simply the result of hard work, good fortune, and the blessings of the gods. Okay, unfortunately you weren't anywhere right, near then. as much help as I was hoping you'd be. So, <laughs> it's a bit of a shame. I was hoping to potentially garner a quest or two off of you, but... Let's try and find Rorik. There's a lot of children running around over here. Whereabouts is Rorik? Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're Good for nothing at all. That's you Eric, like not seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. Sure, sure. What is it you I need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. 
He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you could change his mind. I'll see what I can do. I've just spoken Thank to him recently. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. So this is the person that we uh, claimed to love to that woman. All right, let's quickly, uh, quickly grab that quest. I think it'll be under Misk, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. Where did Rorik go? Good to speak to him again now that we've speak, spoken to uh, the, the older guy. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he alright? Of course he's alright. Should let your son choose the life he wants. But the world is a dangerous place. Excuse me, Eric we're having no a conversation here. what yeah? he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. You can use this to buy some armor. Um, yeah. You would give your own coin to help my son? I'm moved by your compassion. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. Come on in. I wish I could buy armor for 115 gold. And warm beds. That would be beautiful, but... Ain't no chance. So who, who are you? Have we spoken to you before? Oh, that's the barge, yeah. We've spoken to you, so have we spoken to you as well? Michelle, okay. Here's the other um, warrior. Right, go speak to Eric and we'll look for Aurorik. These names are all too similar. Did you have any luck talking to my father? I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Until next time. No worries, man. No worries. Uh, let me just quickly take off my helmet. I've had it on for too long. Right, where are you, Rorik? I've seen you wandering about. I don't particularly remember what you look like. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Of course mm -hmm. not. I mean, it is, it is getting to be late in the day now, so... He might have gone. I, I'd expect him to be in his town hall, but he's just not in there. <laughs> I think we just lost him. Unless we can, like, break into his house real quick. He's not... Ugh. There's just a garden here. Apparently no one ever comes into this building. Where I can mantle these. Doesn't seem safe, but... <laughs> okay. And so, this this area is actually a bit bigger than I thought. They kind of have more more land than I would have assumed. I don't really want to leave yet. I'll be honest. I kind of I kind of do want to um, I kind of do want to try and speak to Rorik because I'm sure there's a quest or two that we can pick up. Hey, Rorik's Manor. There you go. See if he's in here. Hey, here we go, Rorik. If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. I did. He had nothing for me. Is the town of Rorikstead named for you? Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most of the lands you see are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south, helping the Empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now... Thanks to the hard work and the God's blessings, our farms prosper. Do you fight in the Great Aye, War? that I did. I commanded a force of several dozen men, most of them levies from villages in this part of the hold. I damn near met my end in that war. An old merry soldier ran me through with his blade and left me for dead. A healer named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. I tell you, that man is a miracle worker. Good to hear. It looks like we're not going to pick up any not quests here, unfortunately, anyway, but it certainly could. good info. With most of the Hold's fighting men committed to the war, there are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild beasts. And of course, 
As the war drags on and supplies run low, our ample fields and stores of food will make a tempting target for desperate men. The best we can hope for is a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. Seems like it. Need something? I can beg for, to him. Or I could fucking fight him and gift him something. Barter. Not my problem. You cannot trade. What we got here? Well, let's, let's not steal from him, shall we? Anyways, let's get let's get out of here. Um, it's even been nice speaking to you. I mean, oh, that's true. I care. Hmm. So they both live here. I mean, there is an extra bed, it, but I think these two may be more than just close friends. By the, by the looks of things. For a stranger, huh? Ah, okay. She al he also has a daughter Mother. by the looks of it. Hello. Hey, you wanna play a game? Sure, what game do you wanna really? play? Alright, you pick. Tag or hide and seek. Let's play tag. Okay, you're it. Tag someone, anyone. One minute, can I can I mark this as a quest? Yes I can. Am I gonna tag? You can't catch me. Oh wait, I've got to tag her. Oh, you got. I gotcha. There ain't no way you're catching me. I'm a fully grown adult man. <laughs> Ain't no way you're tagging me. <laughs> hey, this is this is cheating. Ha 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 ha! You can't tag me. Okay, I should probably let her win at some point. This is a child. Tried to jump up there, it wouldn't let me. <laughs> you can't get me. Nah, I'll let her get me, it's okay. Ain't nothing a boy can do that I can't do better. I mean you couldn't climb over any of that, so it was fun playing. I mean, a little bit late in the evening to be playing with a child, but Let's um let let's let's not look into that, shall we? Oh my god. This guy's looking amazing. Right, let's make our way over this way, see what's going on. I'm still good to like kind of aimlessly wander around for a little bit at the moment and just check stuff out. In terms of leveling up, I haven't really made any solid plans as to what I want to do yet. I'll go with health. Yeah, I've not really got any solid plans for what I want to level up. Uh, block is still on the table. We could go with another master of blocking. I've been quite liking block. We've also got access to a few more things here, I think. No. Archery, we've got access to much more. Clean kill. Light armor. I think I'm gonna go for block and put another point into block. Been pretty useful so far. Quite a few more levels and certain skills before we can make much of an impact. Just mean we can pick our build out a little more though. Oh damn, there's a uh, quite a few empty wine bottles here. Let's uh let's make our way up the uh up the hillside here so we can parachute off. Where is it we're going? That's Solitude over there. We could make our way towards Solitude and see what's what over there. Plenty of quests for us to do. Let's just make our way down the road for now. This was a good jump. We, uh, we're making some distance. Ooh, we got uh, it seems to be some trouble over here. 
Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Let's quickly just uh, move back a little bit here. I've been ambushed. Not too bad on her. Bandit archer there. Like oh god damn. We're gonna be really careful on the blocking here. Honestly, this sword is good, but it's a little distracting. There's a lot of fire on screen. And then we've got how many of how many are on uh, ow, Lucian ow, right now? Ow. Two. Can't wait to count out your coin. Not too bad. Are you are you running? You will not run. Can I can I talk to you? No, I can't. I can't even attack her. This is not fair. She managed to get away pretty unscathed. We got someone else here, an archer. This. This is the end for you. Okay. A lot happened there. This woman seems to have just... What is just... it? Oh, hello. Yes, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy dying? Ah, I feel like she's the person that was being ambushed. I'm sorry, what are you dying what of? What does it look like? Boredom. Old age. Thirst. What's the point of living when all roads lead to the same mound of dirt? Calm down, man. I ma will be whatever I want to be, you brainless cur. I, I just saved your life, I sir. will not be courteous. For what nobility I had left departed along with my fortune. No, I was stripped of it by the only thing that could affect someone of my eminence. I lost it to dragon fire. Helgen. We're I finding a lot of people that have been to Helgen recently. I mean, technically not true, but we'll see. It was anyways. We'll lie. I doubt that. One with your considerable waistline would have proved too tempting a morsel for a dragon to ignore. Well, thank you. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I'm in excellent shape. So swift enough to take you down. Perfectly comfortable with my size. I'm perfectly comfortable so with my size. So is everyone who stands behind you. Because it lets them sit in the shade. He must really hate the summer, and also thieves. Not that I hold it against you. Well-fed means well-to-do. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if you're spoken for. Why do you ask? I am in need of a suitable partner. One who can finance the lifestyle I've become accustomed to. Because, for all intents and purposes, I'd rather be dead than poor, and every second I am the latter brings me closer to the former. So, as the Nords are fond to do, I seek marriage without courtship. Time is short, and every day is worth two tomorrows. Well, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, opening by calling me fat isn't the best way to win my favour. Could have lost much. Helgen was more than a military outpost in the And city. who do you think fed the soldiers and reared their mounts? Ashwood Farm had a contract with the Empire, and they paid handsomely. With no Jarl, there were no taxes. And with a military garrison situated in the city, our homes were guarded tighter than the Blue Palace itself. Helgen was indeed a military outpost, and that is precisely what made it profitable. Interesting. So how did you make your original fortune? I inherited it. And by that I mean I earned every septum. My mother was a hard woman, and she treated her servants, her farmhands, and her children like hardened criminals. Yeah, that sounds rough. <laughs> I remember we had an orc servant. Bastard born. And every time my mother got drunk, she made it a point to remind him. She gave the poor sod a serving of knuckle pie for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three square meals a day. Right square in the jaw. I don't have to imagine how much they hurt. I know the taste of it all too well. 
This woman sounds awful. <laughs> that couldn't be an easy childhood. Yes. Only the beatings weren't enough. Bruises heal, but the words stick you like a dagger. One day I asked a servant why he puts up with it. And he told me, same reason you do, for the gold. I learned a valuable lesson that day. The one with the gold makes the rules. Those without it are prisoners. Those with it can forever live free. I mean, I have quite a lot, sir. Strength is a currency more valuable than gold, that is true. My mother did was horrible, I'm sorry. You're strict on bringing strength in your character, you should be thankful. I'm just gonna say sorry. Well, I accept your apology. But you seem to be missing the point. What is horrible and decent depends entirely on the size of your coffers. Many before you acknowledged the direness of my situation. But their pity was as empty as their pockets. Maybe, sir, but it doesn't make it right, not in the eyes of God. That's true. That's true. I disagree. I disagree. Zenithar honors those who aid commerce, and Julianos takes pleasure in the contradiction of having criminals make laws. Each divine has their own morality, and none have jurisdiction over the actions of mortals. Many paid a stiff price, yet you still have your life. True. And what should I do with it? Work the fields like some common Hiridan? I, I mean, there's a town worth. just up the road, Rorik's dead. And for one with my stock, there are only two sensible ways to make a fortune. By marriage, or by blood. Is she and trying to marry me? I can't tell. Gold spilling out of his pockets. The only viable alternative is marriage. Be difficult for, <laughs> be difficult for you to uh, like someone to find a spouse. What's that yeah, I think supposed so. to mean? Someone like me? You mean someone who is young, high-born, and educated? I am affable. I am sweet. I am the most devastating beauty Skyrim has witnessed in five millennia. <laughs> My and you God. are evidently blind. But but you're hideous. Easy now. The cracks in your fair are starting to widen. Lady Ashwood, the confidence in your beauty is well deserved. Suppose there are plenty of suitors to enjoy a frog face woman. Let, let's let's say the that. Cracks in my. I beg your pardon. I am a Breton. It's no secret we have elvish blood in our veins, and like our Dunmer cousins, our fine lines are considered beauty marks. Well, it's Leave been interesting. Then. It's been interesting. I feel like um, she eh, wasn't too respectful and also didn't really care for the fact that I saved her life. Now, where are the bodies of the people we killed? There was one of them up over here somewhere. On these rocks. They may have despawned, you know, we are talking to her for so long. It seems like they have, you know. That's a shame. I don't know where else they would have gone. There's only one left down here. Oh, there's one here. And there's, so there's, uh, here's one of them. There must be another one over here somewhere then. Ah, there you go. Okay, they didn't despawn. Nice. Nothing there we really want there. Right, let's quickly go down here and check out this, uh, this cart. See if there's anything on it. Not much, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure whose that is. Ooh, there's some fighting going on over there. Is that our lady? Is that our fair lady fighting with someone? No, it isn't. That's a Stormcloak soldier. Okay, let's let's not fight the Stormcloak soldier for right now, shall we? Oh wait, he's he's undead.
Well, that was close. They were not... They were not the greatest people to fight. Yeah. Undead Stormcloak soldier that she'd taken over there. Not something we want to come across very often. Oh god, that guy's quispy. And he's... Oh my god, I absolutely destroyed this guy. We need a better way to use our potions. We've got so many of them that are very good. They all take up a bit of weight as well. Right, so who are they actually fighting to begin with? Hello again. Need something. Just wandering out here on your own, are you? What is this? There's like a light source emanating from right here. Let's head out into the night a little bit more. Where else are we heading, actually? Oh, we are heading towards the stone. We could maybe head towards that. I suppose at this point we could uh, we could stop for the night and camp. What time is it? Yeah, let's let let let's let's wait a little bit until until it's a little lighter out. There you go. I hear some wolves about. Not uncommon though. We can take off our lantern now as well. I don't think we need it in this light. It is still technically night time, but we don't need it. I like areas like this because we can use our, uh, our little parachute thing to get quite far. Come on, Lucian. Ooh, what is that? Well, this area looks like, it might, looks like it might be a bit dangerous, you know. Some sort of shrine looking thing here. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna say there's a, a bandit outpost, maybe. I mean, it's not it's not always a bandit outpost, but in Skyrim you just kind of assume, and a lot of the time you're right. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a, the, 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 there's bodies around here. Oh, it's Force One. Oh God, no. Okay, okay. Let's um, let's make our way up here. Let's get our burn arrow out as well. Oh, we do have a Sky Stone over there, though. No, you did not. You heard nothing. Lucien. I can take you. It's okay. We've, we've got a few arrows left. That arrow missed. Lovely. I swear I'll kill. There we go. We got her. We got her. Luckily, the others didn't get involved yet. Lucien, thank you for being bait for me there. But the rest of these might not be so easy. I don't even know how many more of them there are. I saw at least two more. Luckily, we're able to sneak our way across here. There's a tent right here. No one in that right now. Is someone there? Ah. Weren't expecting that, were you? No. <laughs> I absolutely love that ability. It's so good. Okay, there's another one. Someone there. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's such a strong ability. We're gonna need more arrows though. We're we're, we're very quickly running out. Is there much more here for us to see? Apart from inside, because I, I don't know if I want to go indoors yet, I'll be honest. Indoors is scary. We'll definitely take this at least for now. That's three of three, actually. Nice. We get to grab ourselves another skill point. Okay, where do we want to take this? Timed blocks. Assume an defensive position for one second of duration your shield, blocking 30% more damage and staggering the enemy in melee range. If you're not blocking the attack in this time, you're not attempting another time block for two seconds. That's pretty good. 
I'd say that's pretty damn good. Yeah, let's go for that. Time block seems useful. Right. Is there anything more up here? Doesn't look to be. Oh, hello. Fine. What? Mm-hmm. So, this is interesting. Right next to this outpost, there seems to be a little town. I just, I just want to test something real quick. Let me just save. I have that thing on this, apparently, like, taking off my fall damage. Let me have a look at the power. Yeah, this, I, I want to know how I disable this, because I did not mean to enable this. And I'm pretty sure it's completely disabling all fall damage. I want to check to, to be sure. And to do that, I just want to, like, jump up here and jump off. That didn't, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Kind of a cool little hill here with some shrubbery and stuff on it. Oh, Lord. That is not what I meant to do, clearly. Wait, can you just walk through this? Okay, no, that, that was just a one-sided wall. Right, let me, get, let me get back up here. Just want something tall to jump off of. Is that too much to ask? Right, so if I go like this... And then just... Oh no, I do take fall damage. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Right, anyways. Let's, um... Let's head back through here and see what's, what this village is about. It looks a lot more mysterious than it probably is because of the, uh, the current fog. Apparently we are very much in the foggy season at the moment. Amber Guard discovered. Don't remember Ambergard as a place that I've been to before in previous playthroughs. It seems new. Is there an inn? A lot of people's houses. The brew house. That does sound innish. Excuse me, sir. Are you a courier? You lost. Okay, you're a courier for someone else. I always assume that for me. Ah, there's the inn. Okay, thirsty dragon inn. Let's see if there's anyone in here that we might want to talk to, and if not, we'll um, we'll head off. This is a weird inn, my guy. There's two beds Welcome. in here. Let me know. Welcome to the Thirsty Dragon, friend. Here, funny work. take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Nice. Okay, right, so let, let's take a seat here at the bar. And I think we'll leave off the episode here. We'll obviously get a save going. And uh, we'll continue in the next one. But not bad. Not bad. Uh, quite enjoyed that. Can I, can I do this, by the way? Just let me check real quick. If I... Nah, I thought I could command follower. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.